One year ago today, Governor Tony Evers banned gatherings of 50 or more people. As we take a look back at the past year of the coronavirus pandemic, we look today at entertainment venues and the performers who put on shows. They were one of the first businesses to shut down and will likely be one of the last to come back. For one local company, the losses are in the tens of millions, but there is hope that live shows could be coming back later this year. Our Tom Durian talks with a local musician and venue about what a year it's been and what's next. These are the folk sounds of Milwaukee's own Field Report, a band that regularly played around the city and around the world. We put out a record uh, the week everything shut down, and the intention was to be on the road. But like so many others in the entertainment industry, everything came to a halt one year ago. I found myself, instead of a touring musician, uh, a uh, distance learning K-4 facilitator. <laughs> Lead singer Chris Porterfield says the time with family has been great, but the lack of shows has taken a big hit on the band's livelihood. Touring was the way that we made any money. Nine dollars out of ten probably came from touring. Chris even turned to online concerts with a Venmo link, anything he could do to keep the band and his income alive. Like many Milwaukee venues Field Report played, the Riverside Theater sits empty. Part of the Paps Theater Group, owner Gary Witt says 2020 was tough, and that's a bit of an understatement. We've lost a year and a half or almost two years of the ability to create revenue in our business. Witt estimates his venues hosted 700 shows a year before the pandemic, bringing in $26 million in 2019. With closures, business was down a staggering 97% in 2020, putting hundreds of workers on unemployment. This sign went up this last weekend. No shows since March 13th of 2020. It was spread around social media immediately. The owners tell me like they've done through the pandemic, they're going to use this sign as their voice. Look, I think that's something that we plan on doing again and again. Did we ever plan on writing that we'd be, that we'd be out a year? We never plan on writing that. But with the vaccine rollout underway, Witt says he can finally see a light at the end of the tunnel. We've missed the human contact of people coming in and enjoying our spaces. For his venues, Witt sees the potential for live shows at or near capacity this fall. I can't do 50% shows or 25% shows because yeah. I can't ask, you know, Neil Young or David Byrne or Willie Nelson to take a 50% pay cut. And like Willie Nelson, Field Report hopes to get on the road again very soon. All of the agents and promoters and artists and tour managers and everybody, everybody's just kind of waiting for somebody to say it's actually happening. In Milwaukee, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. Hmm. The PAPS group was instrumental in the lobbying effort to ask the federal government for recovery funds. Even though the $15 billion in grants was signed into law back in December, Gary Witt tells us that he has not seen any of that money yet. 